Hey, what's going on, Z Nation? Zade here, ZSPN. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Lakers and the final game of the preseason versus the Phoenix Suns tonight. I just want to give you guys my thoughts and my opinions about the results of what I witnessed in the preseason for the Los Angeles Lakers and what's the expectations moving forward when it comes to the Los Angeles Lakers uh, going into the regular season on Tuesday, December 22nd when they face the LA Clippers on that particular day. So I just want to give you guys my thoughts and my opinions about it and also uh, I'm going to give you guys uh, my opinions about the potential rotations and potential players that could potentially be the starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. And on a separate video, I will be making a video of the start of the season for the Los Angeles Lakers when it comes to starters and rotations and potential players that will be a breakout stars when it comes to their um participation for the Los Angeles Lakers and how they will play. So uh, without further ado, guys, let's just get right into it. So guys, uh, as of uh, the results of tonight's game, it was a very good, I guess, in my sense, it was a very good competitive game against the uh, the Phoenix Suns. Uh, you know, Anthony Davis was just balling out out there in a preseason game, uh, ironically, with 35 points. And, you know, this is Anthony Davis we're talking about, a champion who, you know, just went out there and wanted to play. So <laughs> his greatness was very interesting to watch uh, in tonight's game against the uh, the Phoenix Suns and uh, with the Lakers uh, results of the preseason they are 4-0 so uh, the results is just wondrous when it comes to how this Lakers team for performed it the way that they did in the preseason now obviously I said it once and I said it again the preseason don't really mean so much to me because you know this is just a practice run of how uh, certain players and how a team's chemistry will be in effect when it comes to the regular season. And uh, my expectations for the Los Angeles Lakers is, is to, you know, have the mindset just to win. I mean, that's the mentality. Uh, and the goal really is to go for another repeat for uh, another championship uh, this upcoming season, uh, next, which just starts next week. And you know, it just works wonders when it comes to how the Lakers' mindset will be moving forward. I mean, so far what we've been seeing, um, they've been playing very great basketball. I mean, in my opinion, a couple of players have been contributing to to the to the Lakers um, how they play in these past couple of games from uh, Kyle Kuzma and uh, Montres Harold. Uh, there's been some players that were, you know, showing some glimpse of shine and, you know, potential uh, starness uh, in the future uh, in uh, uh, THT. I mean, there's been a plethora of players that have been contributing very well to this Lakers team so far in this preseason. And uh, the expectations is just uh, going to be work wonders. I mean, some players, uh, you know, they their mentality is to, you know, do whatever it takes to you know be part of this team and in, in any sort of fashion uh we've seen that from trez and you know it's just i'm just very impressed i'm very impressed with this lakers team and you know with the depth that they have it kind of shows that they have a mindset going into the regular season i mean there's no one denying it and i'm probably just repeating myself but you know that's all the words i really have to say i mean the mindset is to win, go for another re going for a repeat for another championship, and just playing great basketball. I mean, the Lakers now have a complete team, some great depth, and it's just any team that goes against the Los Angeles Lakers, uh, they are going to be having some trouble when it comes to how this Lakers team, um, uh, you know, be be playing. So. Um, I'm, I'm very impressed with this Lakers team, and I just really can't wait for the regular season to basically begin. So, 
we could just say we can they can actually witness uh we can actually witness how they you know play in the regular season so um but you know like i said with the whole uh, how they play tonight uh you know anthony davis had 35 points very impressive uh lebron had 20 points out there tonight uh you know and uh, when it comes to what we've been seeing from certain players, uh, it, it kind of looked like that everybody was just, you know, taking a, a lean back with, you know, how they were playing out there. But, uh, I mean, I did not see any sort of glimpse of how certain players were playing out there. I mean, uh, yeah, Kyle Kuzma, I was not really impressed by his performance. I mean, he had four points, nothing to compare for these players. For the last couple of games, what we've been what we've been uh, seeing from him, uh, you know, uh, the last game he scored twenty three points. Uh, I believe one game against the LA Clippers, he averaged eighteen points. Uh, there was there's been times where he you know showed up at times throughout the preseason, and uh, it kind of puts into question uh, what's Frank Vogel's mindset going into uh, the weekend and going into the next couple of of days when before the start of the season of how the roster will be looking like i mean the rotation wise as well i mean the starters i mean we already have a mindset of who's going to be starting but there's been talks lately i mean there's been talks when it comes to uh you know who will be starting for the los angeles lakers i mean we heard uh, dennis schroeder could potentially be the starting point guard for the los angeles lakers which by the way tonight you know, I did report this um, in my last video. Uh, for some reason, uh, you know, he has a, a ankle uh, sprain or something like that. I mean, it's not anything too serious. We could potentially see him play next week, probably uh, on Tuesday, on the, the debut for the Los Angeles Lakers in the regular season. So um, that's a potential hope for Laker fans and you know for the Lakers team but um it remains to be seen about that hopefully it's not anything too serious that he will keep him sidelined for maybe in maybe the next couple of games but uh hopefully he comes back on the first day of the opening uh, season so um but yeah that's the idea I mean we'll be hearing from certain uh, reports and especially from like Lakers Nation and stuff that Dennis Schroeder could be the starting port guard for the Los Angeles Lakers, but you never know. Frank Vogel might say, you know, we would prefer you coming off the bench as that sixth man for the Los Angeles Lakers for the second unit. But still may be seen. Uh, like I said in the beginning of this video, I'll make the video for the Los Angeles Lakers when it comes to uh, the potential starting lineups that will be announced uh, once Frank Vogel makes the decision and potential rotations of who will be uh, part of that second unit. So, so yeah, Dennis Schroeder, he's probably on that that, on that uh, consideration. Uh, the shooting guard position, um, it's kind of hard to say right now because there's a lot of mix when it comes to certain players. Uh, the ideal is uh, KCP, but you know there's also uh, Wesley Matthews. Who has uh, you know starter experience, and you know he has the ability to bring that uh, defensive uh, drive that we've been that he is well known for. But uh, still, remains to be seen about that what Frank Vogel will be making. And then there's also the idea that maybe Kyle Kuzma will be playing at the shooting guard position or possibly the small forward position. That's still the ideal, but. Um, you know, still, still swarming around. I'm not sure what's in the mindset from Frank Vogel, but uh, we will probably see it in these next couple of uh, days. So, um, so yeah, my ideal is KCP. That's the ideal for most Laker fans, but uh, still remains to be seen about that. Um, LeBron James, obviously, he's going to start for the Los Angeles Lakers. Okay, there's no denying that. Even Anthony Davis, I'm just going to put it out there as well. Uh, both superstars will be starting for the Los Angeles Lakers um, but my only problem is what will LeBron James position will be will it be like last year where he will just be a uh, point forward uh, type of scenario or will he play the the small forward or 
maybe possibly the point guard position. I mean, there's a lot of scenarios that Frank Vogel will be thinking about when it comes to that sort of instance. Uh, but it still remains to be seen about that. Um, you know, uh, the, either way, uh, LeBron James's mindset will just be uh, the leader of the starting lineup. I mean, that's the ideal. So um, it still remains to be seen about that. Um, most likely, I think he will be possibly uh, being the point guard for the Los Angeles Lakers. I mean, it's just uh, my preference, what we've been seeing, how the Lakers have been treating him uh, since last season, that he's been the point guard and he's been always been that way throughout his career so uh, that's the idea but I won't be surprised if he'll be, play both positions being switched uh, here and there so um, it's still out there still out there uh, and the same goes for Anthony Davis I mean he will be the the power forward uh, for the Los Angeles Lakers at the starting lineup but he will mix here and there at their center position so that's the the the, the the instance of the regular season, but we'll be witnessing from Anthony Davis. And then also, you know, with the lack of uh, big men for the Los Angeles Lakers, I mean, the only big man out there for the Lakers that play in those certain positions is Pal Gasol and Anthony Davis. I mean, those are the big men around 6'11", uh, you know, 7-foot type of, of, um, of big men. For the Los Angeles Lakers. I mean, that's why I still think that, you know, maybe throughout the regular season that maybe the Lakers will either sign somebody from free agency that will be a basic need for them at the big position or they could potentially, uh, you know, trade for a big, but it still remains to be seen about that. So, um, and, you know, there is still the Pau Gasol, um, you know, rumors. So you never know. Uh, he could potentially sign with the Los Angeles Lakers during the uh, the regular season and they'll be eligible to fill in that last roster spot. So um, that's the idea for uh, the Lakers if they want to go that route. But uh, yeah, we will probably see Anthony Davis, you know, he is a power forward and he will play the power forward, but we could potentially see him be inserted to uh, the center position, but it still remains to be seen about that. So, and then you have Marcus Gasol center i mean i think it's the ideal direction where the lakers might be going i mean they could potentially do a, a play small ball maybe possibly have uh, montres harold be the starter f at the center position uh, for the los angeles lakers but you know we could potentially see that throughout the regular season playing a small ball um uh, throughout the regular season uh, we could possibly see uh, montres harold uh, you know, at times, uh, being at the center position, uh, probably uh, Marquis Morris. I mean, that's a possibility as well. What we saw and witnessed from him uh, last season during the uh, the the playoffs, and I think it was especially from uh, either the semifinals or probably in the Western Conference, where we saw more of Marquis Morris playing at the center position. Um, at times when it came to the Los Angeles Lakers uh, starting lineup when they decided to play small. Uh, I think it was against the, uh, the, the uh, um, what do you call it, uh, the, uh, against the Houston Rockets. I mean, I think that was that particular game when we witnessed uh, Marcus, uh, Marquise Morris playing at the center position uh, at one time. So, um, or multiple times throughout the uh, the playoffs. So, um, so yeah, there's a lot of scenarios, guys. I mean, I kind of gave you guys my my ideal starting lineups, but you know, judging by what I've been hearing for these past couple of days, I mean, things might not go according to plan when it comes to my sort of ideal starting lineups or potential rotations. I mean, we could potentially see a whole different starting lineup you know it could be you know just putting it out there LeBron will be the point guard uh, the shooting guard will be you know KCP small forward would be Kyle Kuzma and then you can potentially have Anthony Davis and Marc Gasol or they could flip it on us they could go Dennis Schroeder then they go for KCP LeBron James Anthony Davis and Marc Gasol 
And then there's another scenario. They, you know, they can put LeBron at the, uh, you know, at the point guard position. And then you have Kyle Kuzma at the shooting guard. And, <laughs> and then you go for maybe KCP uh, at the... Uh, at the small forward position, Anthony Davis at the power forward, or Montrez Harold at the uh, center position. I mean, there's a lot of scenarios where Frank Vogel is going to be making a lot of decisions, especially when it comes to minutes as well uh, for the rotation players that are coming off the bench, especially, you know, from certain players, uh, you know, from H, no, THT. I mean, he had... A great preseason. I mean, he, you know, like I said, he averaged in the first game against uh, in the preseason with 19 points. The second game against the LA Clippers uh, with 33 points. And I think uh, he averaged 18 points uh, in the first game of the uh, uh, third game in the first matchup of the uh, of the Suns with, I believe he had 18 points. And then I think this particular game, I think he averaged 14, maybe it was 12 points. So, you know, he's being very active in the preseason. So there's a lot of scenarios where Frank Vogel is going to be making certain decisions. That will be a maybe a good benefit for uh, the Lakers moving forward. And like I said, they are still lacking uh, big men center positions. So... You know, there's a lot of scenarios, a lot of scenarios that certain players will be uh, being implemented when it comes to uh, the rotations and uh, certain starting lineups could be changed here and there. I mean, this still remains to be seen. So, uh, guys, please comment down below, like, subscribe to the channel, share my videos. Uh, like I said in, my, in the beginning of this video, I will be making a video when it comes to, uh, you know, my, I guess my overall uh, uh, predictions of what to expect from the Los Angeles Lakers going into the regular season uh, from uh, the starting lineup the rotations and you know just basically the expectations uh, going into the regular season who will be the threat for the Los Angeles Lakers and stuff like that you guys could potentially see that particular video Possibly tomorrow, but it still remains to be seen about the decision of the starting lineup. Once that potentially comes out, uh, I will make that particular video on that particular day. So it could be in the next couple of days, or it could be on Monday, or it, Frank Vogel should just maybe just shock us and just announce it uh, on opening day. So expect that particular video very soon. I really want to know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Go Lakers. Take it easy, guys. Stay safe out there.